Well, as the golfers practice, PGA Hope, which partners with veterans, is holding the Secretary's Cup at the club at Indian Springs in Broken Arrow. It's an annual event where dozens of veteran golfers from across the country compete. Tune is Oklahoma's Brady Haublab joining me now from the Indian Springs Golf Course with a closer look at that program. Brady. Well, Karen, the golf course is pretty empty right now, but it was much busier earlier this afternoon. 12 teams from across the country came here to compete, and while the competition was fierce, many say it's the camaraderie that makes this event so special. On the first tee, I will be very nervous. Bud Loftus will always be a proud Army veteran, but today he's also a competitor in this year's PGA Hope Secretary's Cup. I'm just very happy to be here and glad I can participate and be part of it. Hope stands for Helping Our Patriots Everywhere. It's a military golf program, which is a part of the PGA National Foundation. It's also the only veterans golf program certified by the Veterans Association as a rehabilitation program. Not only is it a way for veterans to get exercise, but it's also a way to build a community through sports. Really, it's about the camaraderie of this program, reintroducing vets to one another into the game of golf and into the community. But doing it here at PGA Championship Week puts a little more focus on the program. Competitors traveled as far away as New York and California to be here. Each of the veteran golfers welcomed with a flyover tribute, along with an opening ceremony for family members of veterans who died in the line of duty. I stood here and cried like a baby this morning. For Anna Marie Hurt, the event and tribute hits close to home. Her father was also in the military. I love that men can be good friends and love each other and support each other. I, I just think it's great. Loftus echoing a similar sentiment. There's just so many benefits to getting in the program. <laughs> to get involved with a new sport for you, maybe. Now, right now, the program is in almost every state. They are hoping to expand that as well. We'll have a link if you're interested in joining on our website, ktrh.com. For now, live in Broken Arrow, Brady Halbleib, 2 News, Oklahoma.